Here's an interesting one, guys. Uh, I've just tried to record my daily longer rapid game, um, but unfortunately the, the game server appeared to go down towards the end. Uh, I was a pawn down, but I had felt like I had attacking options and there's still some possibility in the game, but the clock was really ticking down. So what I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to show you the game as far as we got anyway. Um, but I'm going to rebuild the game as I go on the analysis board and I'm going to see what Stockfish uh, thinks about my moves and what I missed and so on and so forth. And I'm going to feed that back to you in the comments as we go. So you might want to keep pausing to read the comments, um, but we'll see. It should be interesting. Enjoy. Hey up guys, it's time for today's longer game. It's going to be 15 plus 10. Currently rated 1477. So at 200 points lower than my all-time peak and we've got uh, the black pieces against somebody rated 1408 so this is going to be a 610 nearly 70 points difference so that's two notches on the scale we've got e4 go e5 okay and normal opening are we going to get Italian or Spanish? Italian! Russo Gambit time! And we breathe. If it takes, we push. So it's the middle of the day now. Okay, we'll push with tempo on the knight. Knight can't go there or there because of my knight. And knight can't go here or here because my queen covers both of those squares. So there are only two reasonable moves. Retreat the knight or push the queen. You push the queen forward to pin the pawn. Then black does the same, just as in the Vienna Gambit. Vienna Gambit accepted. And this is, this is an alternative. Okay. Now. This is curious. If I take the knight, I'm threatening the pawn and the rook. But I think that his bishop is better than his knight, so... Whichever one I take, I'm still threatening the other thing. So if I take the knight, he retreats the bishop, but he can retreat to there. Then I take the rook and he gets the pawn. So I think the move is rook takes. Yeah, I want the bishop more than I want the knight. Still, the knight has a problem. Still the knight can't go there or there. Okay, and now we have the pin, so I think this is the move, but we don't do something just because we think it, do we, boys and girls? Um, but yeah, I'm going to do it, because it, it renews the threat on the knight. Knight still can't go there, 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 or there. So still has to retreat. Then, after knight goes back, I'm thinking... Well, obviously we're not going to be castling kingside because the rook's moved, yeah? So I do want to castle my king. So I'm thinking that pawn to d5 makes a lot of sense. It doesn't get away where the bishop. It releases this bishop to recapture that pawn. Um, there's nothing wrong with that move, is there? This, this, okay. And it double defends this pawn. I am quite comfortable with this position right now. Okay, now he's attacking this. Do I have knight d4 move? Knight d4 attacks not only queen but also c2. Having said that, he's got a counterattack here. Um, there's a problem with this move, which is that knight can then take the pawn. So we don't want to do that, do we? Um, if I take the pawn, he may take with tempo on my queen. It does mean my king is one step closer to castling. Or, how about this move? Now this doesn't attack the queen, but does attack c2, and it also defends d5. Or do I just move, like, move the queen? But moving the queen here or here to defend the pawn blocks off one of my bishops. This queen f7? Is that a thought? Queen f7? Then I still have these ideas, but that also then breaks the pin 
idea on the king, so I'm not entirely delighted with that idea either. Now this, he's got queen here with check, and then my knight has to, oh no, my knight doesn't have to retreat actually. There, queen here, because my knight's defended by my queen, I have c6 hitting the queen. So I'm threatening this, which would be unpleasant. The queen can't defend the pawn from there, she might have to go there. Um, we know that this is a, an error. Interesting position. Um, if you've got a queen here, queen here also defends the pawn. Queen here. I don't really know. Queen there as well, that's another idea. That's probably the best, actually. Queen there. I still maintain, yes, still maintain my queen in line with the king. I defend th this, this pawn here from the knight. I'm still threatening this. I'm still preparing this. I've now also got this idea as well. I think that's probably best. That was 2 minutes 13, that move. But that's time well spent if it's a good move. Bishop recaptures pawn. We're in a reasonable shape. Knight coming in here is, is a major threat. D3 is a very obvious move, you see, because he wants to get his bishop out. Okay. Ha. Huh. Now, what we have to do is we have to consider this. This... Pawn takes, pawn takes, hits queen. I think we're okay. Um, this pawn takes, pawn takes. Queen might come down and harass my rook. I've got a feeling that queen's going to be offside then. Actually, no, pawn can't take because I take queen. <coughs> Could do that. Could do that. This is also an option. Um, how about rook g7 now? I think so. I'm two pawns down, but I've still got a development plan. White, however, is just freestyling at this point. That rook super well defended. The pawn's defended. I'm attacking the queen. Taking this doesn't make sense, does it? So... Queen can go here, or here, or here. Queen's got options. But whatever happens, I think one of these two... In fact, if Queen goes there, I've got this move as well. Otherwise, likely to be knight d4. Preparing to castle. This is not an uncommon kind of messy corner. In, the, in this uh, Kruger repertoire. And actually, in some of these positions, black is judged to be in excellent shape. Now, I've got this, but then queen comes back with that. So my thought is either bishop takes or knight in here. Um, <clears throat> if knight d4, I don't see what resource white has got to defend that pawn other than moving the king, which surely can't be good. Also note that if I move my bishop, I can't immediately castle. Um, I'm inclined just to take here and prepare stuff. Maybe even this. I'm just feeling like this queen hasn't got an awful lot of good squares. I'd like to play this and harass the queen more, but I'm concerned about coming back down and then how do I stop the check okay here's a thought now I have this idea can I like move my rook and then this because then the queen can't go there is that a thought Mo even moving the rook oh I don't know um, I'm only one pawn up now how, okay, let's consider this. Hint of the century. Now, 
Um, Queen can go in the corner. Can go here, but I'm not terribly convinced. No, it feels quite good. And at least it means I'm going to be able to castle on the next move, right? So if I do this, what's he going to do? Can't stay there, can't go there, or there, or there. Can't go there. That's a possibility. So that's possible. That's possible. Then it's a pawn's move. That's possible. That's possible. I think I'm. A, I, th I think I'm going. I'm going to do it. Um, and if queen goes here, I'm not going to initiate the trade. I'm just going to castle my king because if he takes, I take. There he goes. You see, he's done it. Um, and I think castles is now the move. I still have this idea in my pocket. There's nothing wrong with this. But right now, my knight is needed to defend the queen. Hang on. Knight takes here is, a, is an issue, isn't it? So do I need to drop my queen back and defend this? But then that drops this pawn. No, it doesn't. Rook's still there. Right, I want, still want to castle. I don't want to give up my central pawn. My, you know, defender of that. It's, it's a very good pawn. You know, in terms of where we are on the board, I've got this nice feel. Okay, now I can just castle, I believe. Oh, no, I can't. Because he's got queen here, mate. No, he hasn't. Rook takes. Knight takes there. Knight takes. I think I can castle. I think I can. Rook is defending c7. Knight is defending a7. I might kick this knight away, I might not. Knight to here. Might have to move my king to b8 first and then go in by the knight attack c2. Right, he's trying to defend against that. Okay. Um, here. This would probably entice the knight to trade itself for my bishop. Now, he's a pawn up at this point, but his position is worse, in my view. Do I kick the knight away? He goes here. I take, knight takes, attacks queen. Don't know. Right, we're looking for more evil. More evil! Bishop here, yeah. attacks queen, knight takes. I don't know. No, I don't like it. I don't want to give up. I don't really want to bring my, my other rook off the back rank. I want to cause problems for my opponent. That's the mood I'm in. Uh, if I kick, he comes back here. We're going to have to trade knights. I kick, comes back here. I don't know. Um, queen back here. Bishop to here, maybe. Queen back here. Kick the knight. Knight goes there. What about knight here, even? Knight here is even a thought. Knight here for threatening that. Yeah. Oh, it drops his pawn. Okay. King b8. First of all. Knight in here. Threatening this. It's deep in white's territory. And white will not like that one bit. Now he might come here. Not much I can do about that. But he's still looking underdeveloped, is he not? Now, now, knight here. I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. My bishop even has ideas now. I'd like to develop this bishop, and I'd like to develop it not into the path of that knight. Um, c6 here would pin my knight on the queen. We don't really want that to happen. Excuse me. Uh, this 
Knight takes, maybe rook takes, is not looking too bad, to be fair. Might even double up my rooks on here and just punch through up the middle. Look at that. There, knight takes, rook takes, then my rook from g7 comes to d7. I've got one queen, I've got a pair of rooks, and I just burst up the centre middle. This is actually also an idea, because this would win the queen, or force the queen to, yeah, it would win the queen. But, so if I do that, he's going to want to take with his knight. This is problem. If I go here, he's going to come here and attack my queen, which we don't want. Oh, this is the kind of tactical game that I enjoy, I have to say, I confess I do. If his knight retreats, the other option actually he's got is, is to advance the other knight instead of retreating this. Ooh, he's only he's only gone and castled. Wow. Well, well, well. Okay, there's a part of me that wants to do this. Maybe get the king off into the corner. If I do this, <clears throat> he's certainly going to move his knight here, almost very, very likely, attacking this bishop. So my queen has to keep defending the bishop because she's the only defender. Um, I don't know about that from my opponent. Knight here anyway, is that even a thought? I want to make life hard for this queen. I feel like this queen is awkwardly, awkwardly placed and... I want to annoy her. Also, I don't like this knight very much. I don't like the fact that the queen's in line with my king either. Is this even a thought? Prompt him to get rid of his good knight. I lift a rook or take the queen. I think so. I think something like, yeah, I'm threatening that with check would win the queen. He's going to have to take question is, how do I recapture? Do I recapture with queen or recapture with... Ooh. Okay, think this through. Check. Queen takes, I take, you take queen. No need for that. No need for any of that nonsense. Okay, what we do now is we get out of dodge. I think I can just drop back to here and defend both bishops, right? Yes, I can. Okay, he's still going to have to take there, and I, then I re do recapture with the queen. Uh, if he takes this bishop. Pawn takes is also an idea. I mean, it's a thought. Okay, thought so. Either way, I'm defending the knight. This no longer attacks the queen. I think that's my concern. Here, oh no, he's ah. Oh. Right, I'm going to lose my bishop, aren't I? When I moved here, my queen is the only defender of these two. So now I actually I have to take with the pawn. Otherwise I do lose the bishop. <clears throat> but it's not the end of the world. You know, I've got I've got this kind of pawn center. My king is not exposed here. And I still I I, I wish I hadn't lost my dark square bishop there. That's a pain. He pushes here, he's gonna have two attackers on here. And I can defend. I like the fact his king and queen are in line. I still have this as a an idea, but it's not a big idea. Okay, starting some pawn counterplay. I'm not too bothered about that.
what does this achieve? It means if he pushes this, if he pushes this pawn, I'm just going to take it out. Da, 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 da. He's still a pawn up. I feel like my rooks need to improve the situation. Maybe it's something as simple as that. Maybe that's all it is. And sometimes the best attack is just straightforward. He takes, I'll take back with queen. <sighs> Isn't it the movie Ghost Dog? So this gives up this, but then I have boom, boom. Movie Ghost Dog has uh, features a lot of quotes from the book called Hagukari, The Way of the Samurai. And one of those is that when one has made a decision to kill one's enemy, um, it is not something about it's not best to take a roundabout way. You know, sometimes it's ju the the right thing to do is to rush in headlong. Okay, this this is still a thought actually because that just threatened mate on the next turn. Uh, yeah, it did, but the threat is still there. Maybe I took, did that too quickly. That threatens me. I think he'd have to do this. Or he'd have to take with his queen. That's an equal trade, in, in fact. I like the fact that his bishop is out of the game. This rook, neither rook is really playing much part. <clears throat> um, I've even got ideas of this. The knight in, kind of pinning this pawn. That could be good. Da da da. Say he pushes this, I've got... Well, I can't really then... Ooh, don't know. Don't know. Have I got enough material to finish the job? Is knight here a thought? That gives up this pawn. Maybe I need to swing my king. Swing the king! But my, uh, my, my current, ooh, okay. Now this defends the pawn. So does this. That also prevents this pawn from coming up and my knight then might have ideas. Uh, this looks good. Is there any value in this, actually? He's got two options. Takes with a queen, trading queen for two rooks and a pawn. That's equal. But then I have... No, I don't even know. Oh yeah, I do. I've got check on queen h7 check. King has to go back there. Um, no, I don't, don't know. How's about this? Let the queen take. I drop back. The queen's still on that diagonal, but then I've got knight. Then it's white to play. What's white got there? Um, got two attackers on here. If I take any pushes here. I can push <coughs> I can push my pawn, then bishop can take. Hmm. Knight here just feels too far out of the way. I feel like that knight may need to be involved in the attack in some way. Knight here defends both pawns, so I'm gonna do that. Down to five minutes. Also, my connection's dropped. If I take and queen takes, and I take and king takes, and I check, 
and King goes back to G1. I can bring my knight round to here, covering the square. It's then on a light square, bishop can't worry it. Queen here is the threat. King can't go there. That is an idea. Takes, 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 takes. King's on there. He's still got the bishop though. He could still just take out my knight. Push. I don't know, it's very tight. This is also a thought, the rook lift. Putting the rook in front of the pawn, queen will have to move. And that is the only square. Okay, and then what? My rook's on here, queen's on there. I take out that pawn, threatening that and mate. Yeah, this. Queen dodges, I take this pawn. If king takes, oh no, because the pawn's still there. I've got check here. Could be something in that. Certainly threatening, which I like. There, there. This rook's on here. So this rook's here and this queen's gone there. Means this pawn is pinned, which means my queen can come in here, threatening mate. This is my idea. Okay, so at this point, the uh, I realized the connection is gone and that the, it's actually the game server that's gone down. So the game ended up, I guess, aborted. But I wanted to go back to the previous position before I moved this knight away, after white played d4. Uh, so I'm on the analysis uh, board now, and apparently there is now a mate in 11 after rook takes h2. So I want to kind of figure that out. So here, I think queen takes is now forced, right? Otherwise, it's mate and eight, mate and five, with any other idea. Yeah, the, the only other way is to move this and then... Um, no, I guess it's still possible, but it's a, a quicker mate. Okay, so after queen takes, rook takes, king takes... I mean, actually, weirdly, f3 is the better move here, but I think most humans would play this. Now, I did... Identify queen h7 check, which is the correct continuation. It's now mate in seven and king g1 is forced. Okay. The point now is it's, good. it's going to be knight f3. Okay, knight f3 forces gf. g takes f3. And now mate in six after e takes. And then the rook has to move. Queen h3 is threatening mate here, so, and the king can't move. Okay, so it's just a delay. Okay, so we've got rook a, queen, rook here, rook e7, king d8, counterattacks the rook, and yeah, it's going to be forced mate. The queen's going to come in here with mate. So, interesting. See, I mean, I struggle to see that pattern, but now that we look at it, um, so let's let's promote this variation. Okay, takes. So here, moving the f pawn still just delays the inevitable. Queen takes. I mean, this looks like a fair trade. Okay. Knight there is completely forcing. And then okay, so this is the point. 
the the point is that we get this pawn on here and then it's an unstoppable mate pattern that is the point let's just go over it again because i need to remember this right so from here takes 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 okay we give check they're forced back into the i mean well you know technically king could have gone here but then that's mate isn't it yeah it's mating one okay so king's back there then the point is knight in they have to take we get this and now it's it's a mate in two pattern and there ain't nothing that white can do about it they move the rook the king still can't move to f1 so there you go right want to remember but what a fascinating game uh, i don't often give my uh, you know go through the game in so much detail but um yeah, a couple of really interesting lessons for me. I mean, one was particularly, I, I made this pawn push, which is something like G4 or something like that, and um, or it might have been G5, to annoy the queen. And I literally didn't consider any other moves, but in actual fact, was it D4 was far stronger and really cemented my, my advantage in there. So, you know, the point is, I made a lot of good moves in there. And it's just those occasions where I cut short my thinking for no good reason, you know. But this is how we improve. We improve by going into games at this level of detail. Because, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of good, um, a lot of things right. And if I'm going to progress to 1500, 1600, 2000, right, which is, I would love to be able to do that. There's only one way of doing it. I'm going to have to identify those areas where um, I'm I'm just dropping a ball, right? For for no reason, and and I think that is a key thing that I'm really going to be looking out for is considering a candidate move, thinking that looks okay, and then boom, the shutters come down. Stop thinking, right? Always, always consider. Come on, if you can find a good move, see if you can find a better one. 1500, here we come. Thanks for watching everyone and see you later.